So maybe that'll be a good series, Alex. We're just trying to come up with something new and revolutionary. Because it gets really boring and stale, guys, to do the same thing over and over and over. And so I'm always trying to mix it up and keep it fresh. Because, I mean, I, Alex and I, seriously, Alex and I hate posting lifestyle. Like, po hating, hate posting fancy cars, shit like that, even though we have, you know, we have a lot of toys, right? It's just, you know, it's just the scammers and stuff. Make it look so bad. And so it's like a war against people that are successful. Because people think that anybody with a nice car is a scammer. You know, they get pulled over. The first thing they think is, oh, this Asian guy must be a drug dealer. <laughs> you know? And, and so, you know, we, we come up with, so maybe that's a good way to do this. Who knows? I'm, you know, we, we love to hear your input. So we just thought about this right now. So maybe that's, that's kind of cool. And one night, you know, you pick a, a new restaurant to review, Alex. Or, you know, a place. And so that's fucking... I think that's pretty exciting. It, it makes it fun for us because we want to do something besides just stocks. I'm so sick of walking around and talking about stocks all fucking day long. About the same thing. How to fucking bounce back from a loss. How to, how to properly trade the lines. How to have discipline. I mean, after 10 years of fucking talking about the same topics. You know, it's getting kind of boring. So maybe this is the thing. Okay. Yeah, before we start. Everybody's logged in right now. So... We have a free consultation, guys. If you did not notice, go to our... This is the thing that I didn't even notice, okay? I'm too busy with this, but, you know, Alex posted me something out today that even I didn't know, which is going to be really great. There, go on our website, myinvestingclub.com. On top right, there is a button that says consult, free consultation. Next to it is a text number. The free consultation. Do it right now. Go and click on that. It comes up with a calendar. You can talk to Tosh. You schedule a call and you talk to Tosh. This is for non-members. Members have access to Tosh all day long. They have access to me and Alex all day long. So there's really no need to do this. So, you know, for those that are not in MIC, guys, there's a free consultation. You schedule a call with Tosh. How many minutes can you talk to Tosh, Alex? And this is free. You can also text Tosh. The number is on the website. Because sometimes you don't know. And so we're giving you an opportunity to talk to a veteran trader who knows who knows whether or not you will be successful. And when he finds out that maybe you're not a good fit, we've actually returned a lot of the money, guys, from people that join and then they realize after a month or a few weeks that they are not made for trading. And so I'll give you an example. I think Alex can talk about it, like we gave... Uh, a mother, like actually a grandmother, she couldn't use Slack for like two weeks. She says, I can't, I can't figure this out, guys. Uh, technology is not my thing. Computer is not my thing. And so we gave her a refund because we realized this. If you cannot figure out how to use a computer, how are you going to be day trading on a computer? Because a lot of times, the get rich guru, furu guys, they make it seem so easy. Follow my picks and get rich. You don't have to do anything. Click a button. Click a button. If you can click a button, you can make money. <laughs> you know? And then the grandmas, they fall for it. It's like the Wolf of Wall Street, right? They don't know. They, they, don't, they fall for it. So this grandma, seriously, she couldn't figure out how to use Slack. You know? Because she, she barely knows how to use email. So we gave her back her money. We, we realized that, you know what, man? There's some people that are not a fit. So, uh, so that leads into the exposing. <laughs> okay? We take a look at our tw uh, Twitter. <laughs> Okay, we, we, we crushed it today. That's because we follow the same working process every day and we post our results, guys. You know, Alex posts his PL. I may or may not post my, I don't like to post my PL actually. I like to post the charts. I like to show the process. Um, and so, posting the charts, you can see my entries and exits. And who does that, guys? Who, who posts that stuff? Not many people post it because I can see a chart and know what the fuck, whether or not you're real or not. If you're learning to trade or not, I can fix it. I, we can, I can figure out a lot about you by your chart. I can figure out your style, everything. And so you notice the gurus that pump and dump, they don't post a chart. Because if they did post a chart, you realize all their volume, their buys, were before the volume came in. Meaning they bought up low floats before they, before they pumped it. 
they front loaded it. They front ran it with their friends or themselves or whoever it may be. So by posting a chart, it is revealing to the world that they are a fake scammer. They're not a real trader. How the hell would they buy every single time uh, before even the stock moves? They are the ones that causes the stock to move. A lot of times they hide their fucking PL. They go, oh, I didn't know I had this fucking stock in my fucking IRA account. I don't have this stock in my, my fucking third, fifth account. Oh, I just found some magical share somewhere. I forgot about it. You know? And because they, they're trying to cover up the fact that they, they've been in the stock. They, them and their friends have created a system to be able to pump this. Think about this. Whenever someone makes money, they brag about money, ask them for their chart. Why wouldn't they show you their, their chart? They're so proud of their P&L. Show me your chart. I see P&Ls all over the place without a chart. You know, there's not many people that post charts daily, guys. Um, those that post charts daily, I, I, I commend them. It's fucking great. But those guys that post the charts, they're not educating you on their process. They, they, they are posting it to brag to other guys like myself that they are the shits. They, are they teaching you how they got uh, their entries, how the process they use? No, they do not because they're not going to share it with you. And that's what educators do. Educators, we walk a fine line, guys, between exposing everything we know to the public and is afraid that they will. the public knows what we're doing and our edge is gone. So a common thing that, that the trolls always say is, if you're fucking making millions, why are you selling your shit for $100 a month? You must be a scammer. If I had a system that works, I'd be a billionaire. <laughs> uh, that means you don't really know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, there's a system that makes you money. Go to school, go to college, get good grades, get to Harvard, make money. Why don't everybody become rich like that? Because not anybody can. Just because I tell you what you need to do, most people cannot do it. It's because... Are you willing to put in a year of work? Are you willing to not make money the first month because you're learning? I can tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now, guys. Everybody that I personally mentored became a millionaire. Alex, whoever I taught, personally devoted because I picked the right individuals. They are humble. They work hard. You know, they, they, they are not greedy. They're disciplined. You guys can do it too. But you know what? You fail because you're, un you're not disciplined to follow the process. But that's not my fault. Okay? And so, what the scammers don't realize is this. That's why they give you just the P&L. The P&L doesn't mean anything. It's how you got it. They can scam their way. Do not compare yourself to a scammer. So when people ask, hey, Balk, how do your P&Ls compare to this guy? <laughs> why don't he compare? If he's a scammer, compare himself to Bernie Madoff. <laughs> compare these pumpers to Bernie Madoff. If you want to compare apples to apples, compare a scammer to another scammer. Don't compare a legitimate guy working at home, trying to educate you, showing you exactly what they do. My edge is not just my process. My edge is knowing the experience on how to use the process and how to keep my emotions in check. And that's something that you know what? Not everybody can do. There are great traders out there, but they're horrible educators. There's great educators, but they can't trade with shit. So somewhere in balance is, and that's why trading and education is very difficult. Because when you t are able to trade and make this kind of money like we do in this time of short period, I mean, dude, we made a lot of money in like 15 minutes. You know, I stick around because I want to educate you. But I had an epiphany last night. I'm like, dude, I'm tired. I know, like, I work my ass off so that I can afford to have breaks and to take life easy at my age. Um, and so, and this summer, I'm like, fuck, man, I've been working my ass off, like, with Alex and all that, and we, and we barely took a vacation. I took four days off. Alex hasn't even taken a single vacation yet. He's waiting until September to take a vacation. Tosh just took two days off last week. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing this for? But then we came to realize, you know what, man, whenever I start feeling like that, I, I see the messages from members thanking me every day. Alex reminds me, Val, look at this. For every one guy that pisses me off, there's like a thousand guys that thank me. 
And so the pressure is on daily to help you guys. And so that's why I'm so upset. I'm so upset the fact that why, why has God chosen me to be such a good guy? Why can I not be a scammer? Why, why, do, why do I have such a big conscience, a big heart and integrity? Why can't I just be a fucking asshole like every other capitalist out there? I have friends in the industry that tell me, Bao, you're a fucking fool. People scam you left and right and you're still their friends and helping them. They tell me our industry is crooked. There are no good guys in trading. You are a fool, Bao. But you know what, man? I never gave up hope. And Alex and I and Tosh and the people at MIC, we work our ass off and sometimes we, we have to rent. So I don't know what the balance is, but I, we know what we're trying to do. We are trying to help enough people. We just started this MIC three years ago, guys. And look how big MIC has gone. How many thousands of members are helped by MIC. If we do this for a little longer, the army will grow. We are currently growing tons of consistently profitable traders within MIC. They, they will be the next generation of MIC mentors so that I can step away. Alex is now fucking a, a monster. He understands the whole MIC process, my, my mindset, my ideology that I've, that I've done for 20 years. So I so thank you. I love Alex and Tosh. They've given me opportunity to walk away. Alex does, to be honest, Alex does most of the back end work. He does all the back end work. You know what, how hard it is to run something like MIC for thousands of members? You know, how much money goes and time, not even money, time. You know, there's 20 moderators to manage. There's 2,000 members, there's emails, there's weekly videos. Alex watches every single video. He edits the videos to make sure that the content is correct. Because the last thing we need is for someone to make a video on behalf of MIC and get the information wrong. So Alex is very OCD when it comes to that. He meticulously watches every single fucking video. That's why he's a monster. Because he studies this shit. So if you guys mimic what Alex does, you will be the next Alex. Think about this. So I just gave away the secret, guys. But still, why is there only one Alex floating around there, right? <laughs> because, because it's not easy being an Alex. You have to be yourself. And it's okay to make $200 a day. This is why I don't post my PL. You know, Alex posts his PL to show people, you know what, this is, the, this is what you can do. For me, I post my charts because it's, when people see my charts, I go, damn, is that easy, Bao? It's not easy. But if you do it enough times, it becomes like an instinct, like a reflex. And so we've covered everything that you need to cover in MIC. We have. So other chat rooms, all they have are a bunch of asshole pumper motherfuckers bragging about how much they make. While half of the, their community is blowing up. The sharks are eating their own in that room. There are guys in the room that are taking advantage of the slower members. This is why MIC does not do alerts. We don't pump. We don't have a secret fucking room where we tell each other plays. You notice, we're the ones that don't post our positions until we exit. Why? Why am I making it so difficult on myself trading wise? Why cannot why can't I just load a giant position and then pump to you guys and make instant money like these Discord room guys? So, you want to know who the scammers are? I think the scammers are yourself. The guys are are, are trying to defend these get rich quick shit. Because they themselves know they are degenerates. There's you know what? It's hard to be a legit person nowadays. You'd rather be a lazy fuck at home getting subsidies from the government. There's not many people that don't work hard anymore. But I'm going to tell you something. What drives me is the fear. The fear of being mediocre. The fear of being average. You now have an opportunity, guys, to change your life and to, and to work with people that really care, that made it, and really care. Because you know what, man? These opportunities don't last. Like, like someone said Jesus. Well, I'm not saying I'm Jesus or anything, but once Jesus is gone, you're like, oh, I fucking wish I talked to Jesus. Because there might be a point in one day that, you know what? You're not going to have this opportunity. When window, when the opportunity comes, you kick down the fucking door and you make it happen. You know? You can go fucking clubbing every fucking weekend. Or you can learn for once all the year. 
Join for one solid year. Put your fucking best effort into it. Now you can bottle service every fucking night you want. The amount of money that we are making just trading an hour a day off of a $35,000 account. Alex and I can buy a bottle service every fucking night for me and a group of my friends, not just me. That's because we put in the hard work. My mom always says, man, it's like, this is investing. You invest in yourself so that the payout comes later. I don't want to be fucking an old man and still have to work for the rest of my life fucking mowing lawns or and nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, this is why refugees and immigrants are so successful. It's not because they had an upper hand. It's because they understand the value of opportunity. Immigrants do not have much opportunity in life. They wish to come to America, not to steal your fucking job, to have an opportunity. You are living in the greatest country in the fucking world and complaining that you can't fucking have an iPhone. Shit, man. <laughs> These people, like where I used to come from, they, they, they don't have food. So I don't even... Today I was supposed to rent, which I will, but the, I think the more rent is... <laughs> It's a sadness. I want to rent the fact that you guys have an opportunity to change your life. Whereas everybody else wishes they had this opportunity. And when the window closes, you know how many people join MIC after they lose all their money? You know, you have an opportunity now. Do not fucking get scammed. But the funniest thing is, I get so many DMs asking for advice when they're joined in other services. And I'm like, why the fuck does this motherfucker asking me? I know why. It's because they know I'm real. But they are lazy. They know that if they get mentored by Bal and Alex, they would have to do the work. They don't want to do the work. They want to get rich quick. So they pay these other motherfuckers to scam them on the chance, on the 1% chance that they will strike it rich. They're buying lottery tickets. How many fucking lottery tickets have you fucking won in your life? And so, they are knowing that I give out free advice if you text me. But enough is enough. I had an epiphany last night. I am fucking going to take it easy, guys. You know, the window opportunity is closing fast on you guys. The, the Mr. Nice Guy that you see, I'm still fucking nice. But, you know, people don't respect this. Because I still get a lot of questions from people that are not in MIC that are paying other motherfuckers. And then when they finally blow up, they ask me for a discount. It's not the money, guys. It's the respect. And I don't know what the hell it may be. <coughs> it's because social media is used the wrong way. So let's go back to what I said in the beginning. You can use social media in the right way or the wrong way. Most people use it to pretend to be someone else. The internet is the place to, es to escape. Like playing a, playing a role-playing video game. Escapism. Okay? And that's why. You can be broke all you want, but you are a level 1000 barbarian. Fucking killing everybody. But in real life, you are a fucking loser. Okay? But which one would you rather have? I stopped playing video games because I used to play so much. I was a fucking nerd. I was shy about everything. Scared to talk to girls, but online, I was a fucking badass. I'll whoop your fucking ass because I spent a thousand hours a week. And I'm level thousand barbarian. You want to say some shit? I'm fucking got muscles and shit, but in reality, I was a little fucking loser. And so I stopped playing video games, guys, when I hit high school sometime. And that changed my life. I'm not saying the video games is bad, but fuck, dude. Imagine how much time you fucking devote to your fucking video game for no reason. Unless you're a pro gamer, but I guarantee you I will make most money, more money than most pro gamers. There are a handful of pro gamers that make a ton of money, yes, but the majority of them are not going to do it, you know, because you know why? Fuck, dude. <laughs> Everybody is doing that shit, right? And so, think about this, guys. I'm just giving you guys ideas, okay? Stop fucking playing video games. How much money have you spent on your character? You're buying fucking diamond armor, fucking some... some some legendary clothing the fuck for a fake ass character <laughs> why don't you use that for fucking something real so I'm just trying to tell you sometimes the scammers are yourself guys you are fooling yourself you are scamming yourself and you know what man sometimes someone has to fucking call it out okay if you're spending more time on a video game than you are in real life you got some fucking problem 
If, but the thing is, not everybody's made to trade. Not everybody's made to make money. Not everybody's made to be above average. Some people are content being mediocre. Some people are content to be bottom fishers. <laughs> Who cares? Is your life? I'm not. I'm not here to scold you. If you like to play video games, if you like to fucking live on welfare the rest of your life, so be it. Some people like to fucking do drugs and smoke weed all day. That's fine. That's up to them. Other people like to fucking sit around and start making money. You know, that's not good either. You know, you need a balance in life. So, so these are the signs of being scammed. When all they sell is a get rich quick, it's easy, easy, no hard work. If it's no hard work, then everybody be rich. Everything that is good in life is, is, is valued, it's rare. It's like collecting fucking Pokemon cards. If 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 the fucking what's that the the fucking dragon lizard whatever the hell that the million dollar card is if they had a billion of those out it would be a common card it'd be worthless. So the careers that you pick, the the people that you pick, first of all, consistency is the one thing, guys, in life that separates success from non-success. And I'll talk about getting lucky. Not getting getting lucky is one thing, but they will eventually lose their money back unless you're consistent. The one thing that all these successful people have is consistency. They have the same routine. They wake up. Notice Alex and I, man, I don't want to fucking walk around like this. I'm tired, man. I want to party all night. Even when I party, I still fucking wake up and do this shit. It's consistency. Okay? You start with consistency of habit routine, which will lead into consistency of your trading profits. You know? And once in a while, you reward yourself. You, you know, take a day off, whatever. And so... I want Alex to go on vacation. I want I, myself to go on vacation. I want Tosh to go on vacation. But you know what, man? We care too much. We have so much. And I'm glad that Alex is young. <laughs> I went through ten, decades with no vacation, Alex. So welcome. Welcome, baby. Welcome and thank you to the big leagues. Um, and I'll tell you, we are a different community than everybody else. I'm not here to fucking teach you to trade. Because you know what, man? I could teach you to trade already. But the problem is you're not going to be successful. It's because... If your life is chaotic, your trades will be chaotic. You need to first get the right mindset. This is like the Karate Kid bullshit, right? Mr. Miyagi. You know, you got to learn to wax on, wax off. And, he, and then the Karate Kid guy doesn't understand why he's going to uh, wash his car. Eventually, he'll know why. It teaches humility. It teaches you the fact that, you know what? You humble yourself. You don't know anything. You follow the progress because eventually everything is going to make sense. You may not understand why you have to learn how to read a chart. You may not understand why you have to put a stop loss, but eventually everything will make sense to you because it, it's a cohesive thing. Without having proper risk management, you will blow up. Without knowing how to enter and read the lines, the charts, you will not have good fills, good entries. So everything is a learning bit by bit. And this is why trading is so difficult. You have to put it all together. And not only that, you have to be controlled emotionally. Okay? So these walks, Alex knows, these walks help me. You find something that helps you to vent. You know, it could be as simple as each week, go out and donate money. Not much or time. You don't have time. You know, I randomly buy people stuff. You know, I randomly tip large to random people. You know, this is my way of like, you know, giving back. It's because, you know what, man? I, when I give, I give an amount that actually hurts me. <laughs> because to me, donation and charity, if it's meaningless to you, it's not real charity. That's my opinion. You know, if, if I'm donating a dollar, that's my spare change. How is that really charity? That's me pretending to be charitable. Me walking around like this, Alex doing this. When I had three hours of sleep, when I'm pissed off, when I'm losing, on my losing days, I've given presentations. That is charitable. It hurts me. You know, not me giving a dollar back. And so when we do something, it, it, it means it. That way we appreciate everything. So when I donate, you know, it's, it's a significant amount of money that is not like a dollar. But it's relative to whatever it is, right guys? So, the people in MIC, you know what, how they donate? They are watching the videos. They're donating their time. By donating, 
how valuable time is and you want to make money the easiest, quickest, safest way possible. So it's a different mindset. It's very hard. I'm telling you right now. I still struggle with this because sometimes I say, fuck you, fuck you. You don't know who I am. Fuck you. I'm the best. But then I gotta calm down. Whatever happens, karma hits me. So I believe my religion is karma. You, 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 you know, eventually everything's gonna come back. But sometimes karma takes too long. I want to punch the, the scammers in the face. So let's do this, guys. Let's end it with something fun. Raise your hand if you got scammed and let's walk through and let's dissect the anatomy of a scammer. That you won't get scammed again. Or, you know, this, this leads into this. Not just the scammer. The stocks are scamming you. Fake PRs. I talk about this all the time. How to dissect a PR. I think we have videos. My Training Fish Academy talks about it. How I know if a PR is a hype, fake pump, or if it's going to go up. You know, there's certain things we know. It's like used to pump. So PRs are being pumped and scammed. Analyst upgrades and downgrades are being scammed. You have to look at the filing to see if they're selling paper. You know, so a scammer is not just a person. There's basic levels of scamming. The lowest level of scamming is the guy that makes up a fucking fake account and pretends to be you and you fall for it. That's because you're a basic bitch and you want to fall for it. You want, so you know how many people create fake accounts? And the people that fall for it, the people that want to to believe in the scammer, they want to believe that I will trade for them, that they don't have to do anything and make money every week. Give me a thousand dollars, I'll make you 10,000 a week. They want to believe that. When you want to believe it, you will believe it. And on the opposite side is a guy that scams himself by never believing in anything, having no optimism. You have to have optimism. You have to believe in yourself. Trading, no one makes money. Fuck this shit, you're all scammers. Fuck you guys. So they start trolling. That's the extreme opposite. All right guys, raise your hand. I'm gonna bring someone on. I don't care who you are. You have a good story for us. You have a good, positive, or negative, doesn't matter. Just something, you know, educational today. About scamming or whatever it, it may be. We saw a guru today in a popular room. I show up to work late. And keep saying how the, the, they're the best, whatever. I mean, come on, man. Stop. It's like self-masturbation. <laughs> you don't judge yourself. You judge yourself by the students. And the thing is this, man. Alice and I, we have bad days too. But we are here every fucking time to do this. We, 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 we suck it up. And that's the real mentor. Those are the qualities that we look for. You know? And that's the qualities that you should look for. Consistency, right guys? So, um, raise your hand. Let me see if I see anybody raising their hand. Don't be shy, guys. I guess we filter out. Eventually over time, we filter out all the bad, bad people. <laughs> Just raise your hand because I really can't really see this. I see a lot of uh, Arabic too, so it's weird. I think we have an Arabic community. Or those bots. I don't even know they're bots. Yeah, let, me bring, let me bring on me. <laughs> and from a female perspective, this might be good, guys. Because it's rare that female. Hey! Hi! Finally, this is the first time we've we, uh, seen each other face to face. And so, I'm actually at home because I'm actually always traveling too. Oh, uh, that's cool. You, okay, so tell everybody who you are. And how this all happened that you started to learn? Okay, so pretty much two months ago, I quit my corporate job. And then I flew to Hawaii and I met your friend who introduced me to MIC. And then I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. Um, I've just like the whole time I've been just learning things. And for two months, I've only made two trays, but I'm actually up. 3500 you know but it <laughs> that's took pretty good yeah that paid for your whole year of education right there <laughs> yeah, exactly and i'm like like right now like yes to people i'm not making a lot of money but i have a lot of freedom and i'm learning so much and just believing in the process and just doing my diligence daily so let me ask you what corporate job did you quit um i actually worked across essex skyline <laughs> don't tell me where i live <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's fine. I'm moving. So go ahead. No, so um, it was at a mortgage company across um, in Irvine, pretty much, and they were making me um, market for literally 
10 different branches, just one person. I'm out here working like 12 hours a day. And now I'm just working two hours a day. And then the other day, the other hours, I'm just traveling and studying at my school. So, so tell us, um, so once again, how long and wh what are your steps to when you started? What videos did you start watching at MIC? What, 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 tell us how you got there. So um, I actually, uh, I'm currently following Faye's study guide. Um, I have a checklist daily, and I actually can sh show you in a little bit uh, the videos that I watch and then the notes that I take. And then let's say when uh, the video doesn't, um, let's say when I don't understand, let's like, oh, what line I'm supposed to draw, I will pause that video, jump to another v video to understand what you're talking about, then go back to that video. So that's you're my treating way. This like a, you're treating this like a real university. You're treating this like a university. Yeah. That's what it is. So I'm. That's good. It's honestly very cheap to pay to get this knowledge because. It looks like she's cheap with internet because she, she's laughing. <laughs> You're, like, you're cheap with your internet, laggy. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Uh, we, we, you lag through the whole thing. So, so I heard uh, it's really cheap and then it lags. No, I'm just saying, like, uh, MIC, like, you're making this very cheap for us. Like, this is a lot of great knowledge that you're giving to us for free, you know? Like, but you've got to do the work. You've got to yep. do the process. And it's patience you know like so, this is i didn't come in to get rich overnight that's 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 exactly right so you you now think about this she's not making any trades because right now no i'm she's not still learning I'm not you're still learning trades. you're still learning right exactly so if, if you're making trades it means you're gambling and so yeah i'm not here to gamble but you are waking up every day and following along the chat right the main chat to learn yes and that's the key guys this is like a university she's in class learning this Okay, you have you have to go to class every day. You exactly. Cannot, you, you cannot cheat on your homework because you know what the final exam in life is. The final exam is when you place that trade. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you only cheat yourself, right? <laughs> if you if you cheat your 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 classwork, your homework, and then when the final exam comes, and you're making a trade. You don't know what you're doing. And you lose lose a lot of money. And, and you know what? That's your that's your grade. <laughs> so, so what what do you see? So you. So this is the thing that I see also as well. People learn too much. You can actually learn too much and be scared because you're always waiting for that perfect trade. And there's really no perfect trade, right? And so if you, if you, so my advice is this, use tiny, tiny shares, 10 shares, 50 shares, 100 shares, so that you start to learn along the way and you overcome your fear of losing. You overcome your fear of making a wrong decision because in trading you have to be okay with losing a little bit that's where your risk mastery comes in start with the good habits so i think you are ready now to start just putting in because you know what are you to lose a hundred dollars a month right you lose yeah like no exactly twenty dollars a trade some trades you will make 20 bucks some trades you will, you know and so in my opinion you have to it will get to the point where you're going to be too scared because you're waiting for that perfect trade. And you're basing it upon the two perfect trades you had in the past. And those trades may never come. Or when they do come, you think they are perfect and you forget risk management and then you're wrong and you blow up. Yeah. So the more trading is like, you know, it, it's an instinct. In my opinion, you have to keep doing it over and over and it's repetition. So I, I challenge you to do this, man. You have to, in my opinion, put – Time frame goals. Okay. Okay. Watch okay. this videos by this time. Otherwise, if there's no time frame, you're just going to take your time, right? Uh, yeah. You have I to. guess it's like really intimidating coming on being a girl trader and young in this industry. So, but you know what? You're challenging me. So I'm going to take that and let's make it happen. Be because if Faye can do it, I challenge yes. you to do this. I challenge everyone right. is. Faye, Faye got busy with her life. She stopped. Uh, I, I, I love her. I talked to her just the other day. I, I, maybe you can bring interest back to trading. Say, hey, you know, you're about friend, whatever. And then, you know, pick her brain a little bit. Maybe because trading doesn't, doesn't need to be time consuming. 
you know, you just do the first hour, like I said, right? You're done. And so after a yeah. while, it gets boring. So maybe, you know, um, right now, do you have a tab? Uh, no, not yet, because I'm still trying to figure out my style. But that's the thing. So a lot of times, it's just it's more fun when you learn from other people. Because, I mean, to figure out your style, I mean, how can you tell? Because unless you study everything, it's going to be too time consuming to study everything, right? And yeah. so. So these are the these are the time things. I'm not rushing you, but I'm just trying to get you over that hump because I see so many people afraid to take take the trade, and that and they, so they don't understand that they don't have to go in big size each time. You start off like a video game, right? You start with a little little animals you kill, and then eventually you you try to fight the dragon or something, right? So yeah. so start with very small size. Okay. And you, before you do that, you know, right? You have to know, write down your plan, where you enter, where you're going to exit, or both a loss. So you predefine your risk. And by predefining your risk, it takes away the fear. Because now you know how much you can lose, right? And yeah. if, you, if you know you can only lose 50 bucks at $20, $10, why would you be scared? Yeah. So you put that into the habit. And you're going to notice this. The moment you become consistent, you keep making twenty dollars over and over. You are gonna want to make fifty dollars over and over. Yeah. <laughs> right. But right now you're making zero. <laughs> so, I... but zero is still better in my opinion. So, so, but the thing is, you know, there, there, you need someone to push you over that hurdle. And yeah. I think I think it's time to just kind of like I'm not gonna say man up because you're a woman, woman up, and then uh, you know, just start trying to try to make twenty dollars, ten All shares, right. fifty shares, a hundred shares, whatever it may be. Get your feet wet. And commission-wise, with the right broker, you add to liquidity, and it's free, right? Mm -hmm. Or it's small. It's paid like 0 0.003 per share, whatever it may be, right? So think of it as tuition. No way you pay $100, 200 bucks a month to learn. Yeah. That's, you have to do that. And it gives you good habits because trading in a simulator will give you very bad habits over time. You expect, you expect to have instant fills. You expect to have your nerves calm because when you're not trading with real money, I don't care if it's simulation or not, you don't really care. <laughs> That's why you're so calm. But when you start seeing, holy shit, I'm down $500, you're like, what the hell? That's my entire week, right? <laughs> yeah. like, you know? And so it teaches you. So you have to learn how to handle the emotions from $20. Then you can slowly go to $50, $100, whatever it may be. Okay. No, that was amazing. Thank you. Great, man. Keep it up. Yeah. So if Nee can do it, you guys can do it too, guys. You see how it is? It's methodical. Yeah. Yep. Get a tab, man. Thanks for coming on. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I got, my rent turns are actually helpful. So, you know, you, you see how it is, guys? That is, that is a true mentor, you know, because a true mentor helps their members like this, guys. It's not just bragging. You know, being real with them and helping them, taking their time out to do this. I could be trading. I could be doing whatever I'm doing. These, some of these guys only trade for the fucking first 10 minutes and leave. When they lose, they leave. You know, they don't really care about the members. So uh, if, I hope we bring on one more person. Then we'll, we'll end after that. Who wants to come on? <sighs> Raise your hand. Otherwise, I'll go and do what I do. <laughs> Thanks, Nee. So now everyone's gonna want to be your uh, your tab. You're the <laughs> yep, um, Mr. Philosopher guy. He is afraid to make the trade. I've been trying to get you over the hurdle. You see, what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm trying to get Nee over the hurdle. So that's how you do it, man. You start putting small shares, and you have to do it. You just have to do it. Get over your fear, the fear of losing. Philosophy guy, you can hit up me too. Maybe you guys can help each other get over the hurdle. Who knows? Uh, he's a good guy. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's fine. I will see you back in the room, guys. Oh, consultation, guys. Those that are not in MIC, go to the website and hit the consultation button. Talk to Tosh. I'll see you guys.